Oh, hi. Let's talk about the differences between high and low density towers. So there are two different types of tower pots used in any tower garden or tower farm system. The first is a low density pot here on my right, and the second is a high density pot. They each serve a different purpose, and that's what we're going to talk about. The first key difference is that low density pots only have four spots per pot. High density pots have eight, and that is a lot more. High density pots have way more planting capacity. However, low density pots have more space for each plant to grow as well. So low density pots are used when you want to grow a plant to full maturity. Now in contrast, while high density pots do have more planting capacity, they have less growing space for each plant to grow. So high density pots are used for plants that are going to be harvested early or more frequently. And in my farm, I use them for many cut and come again varieties such as lettuce, spinach, and other herbs. So high density towers, I would say are harder to manage in order to get the most out of them. However, when you do, uh, I have two high density towers that I've done completely both of spinach. I've pulled over five pounds every 14 to 21 days. Uh, which is great and I use spinach in a lot of different salad mixes so it's a staple and for the cost of what it takes to actually grow it in here uh, it's a huge win. Now the recommended amount for a commercial farm is to have at least 10 percent of their towers high density but the real answer to how many towers of each version you should get depends on what you want to grow and when you want to harvest. Let me pull something off one of my towers. Here I have a head pomegranate crunch, speckled romaine, a stevia plant. Now each of those heads will weigh around four to five ounces when they're ready to be harvested. Uh, and I could even let them go further, but that's good to know because when you know how much average weight you'll get per plant and how many plants you have per tower, you can estimate how much you can make and then weigh that against obviously the cost of growing it. So now let's talk about the total planting capacities possible depending on which kind of tower we use and how high that tower is. If you have a residential tower garden, you can buy more low density or high density pots off of Tower Garden's website. Now for the tower farms, these systems are sold complete in four different tower heights. For the low density tower sizes, it's seven, nine, 11, and 13 pots high, which would stand at over nine feet tall with a total planting capacity of 52 plants. For the high density tower sizes, it's 13, 17, 21, and 25 pots high, also standing at over nine feet tall, but with a total planting capacity of 196 plants. So if you want a tower farm, you just have to figure out those two things. How high of towers do you want and how many of each tower type do you want? And that's where my mic gave out. Thanks for watching. One more thing. I'm a certified distributor of tower farms, so I'd love to assist you in acquiring a tower farm if you're looking for one. In the description, you'll find a link to my website as well as to Tower Garden if you wanted one of the residential versions. Please like the video if it helped you, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.